Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 5 of this coffee shop. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were we started doing the um, HVAC. And as you can see, we started adding some flex dock here. And then some air terminals. And then the dock itself. And some transitions. Um, here, we're going to continue working on this. Uh, let's go to level 2. And as you can see, we already have our, our air terminals added. Uh, let's move this one for now and just select all the air terminals that we have at the moment. And let's uncheck all of this so that we don't see the arrows anymore. Because that, that one is um, being confusing. Um, and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this for now. Because uh, we're going to add a proper one. So I'm going to select all the air terminals. And I'm going to move it more at the side. Here I'm going to maintain it here. And I'm going to place this one at this spot and then let's align the air terminals with this so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the dock and let's maintain with 150 305 middle elevation let's leave it that for now um, reference level, let's put it at level 1. And then for the elevation, let's just put it at 3200. And then after that, um, let's add two main docks like this. And then one is on the other side. So from here, we're going to connect them all together. It will create um, the transitions. And just do this. We're not trying to connect everything because we're going to add the flex dock. So I'm just basically having to add it there only. And as you can see, there's like broken lines that tells me where, where to stop. This one, let's put it more there. And for this, let's just add a small one. So we need to move it a little bit more and then just click on the dock again. No auto route, so it needs more. So basically it just needs more room in order to flex. Then just keep on doing that. I'm just going to do this for now. It just went over. So now I'm just going to add And then at the last one here as well, we need to maintain the distance so everything is according or base to align. So 
So I just need to know And let's align those ones from the midpoint if we can. We could just move it manually like so. And then now we need to go to our elevation and we need to see, we need to align it from our roof. So AL. So from my perspective, it looks it looks good that it's just there, just at the top, because we're gonna add in the hanger. Um, what we need to do next is we need to add in the flex duct. So from here, and then you want to make sure that you're 150, and then click there. So there's a midpoint on that face that you'll be able to select and then select the air terminal. We need to delete that part. Okay, and then now we could change this to 150 as well. And once you do that, it will look like that. It will have a good transition. I don't know if this one will work, but we could try. So now, no for that. This one, let's change it to 150 because it has a better look in, in terms of transition. So in terms of that, what we could do is we could select it 150 and then we need to, I believe, move this one a little bit. So unjoin it, move it back and then let's put it back or the other way around. And then we could just click on delete. And then we could just so that's the only problem that we are facing is it doesn't change at all because of the the steep um, change here. So what we could do is maybe 200. So let's leave it like that for now. Because I don't want to push it all the way here on the wall. So i rather have it looking like that. And after this, I want to add the hanger. So we need to click on fabrication. And then here, we need to go to settings. This will appear on your right side. Um, you can also click here. So let's close this for now and then click here. And it's basically um, same thing 
as this but without you uh, clicking on the settings so basically that's the same thing uh, we need to change this to we're using a uh, metric so we need to use metric here as well and we could use this doc work put it loaded on the service and then parts we could change this go to each vac and then hangers and for me I'll, I'll just load all of the hangers even though we don't have oval um, i just want to load everything so that i don't need to handpick each and every one so give it some time it will load and the only thing that we need to do is if you click on this right now uh, as you can see it doesn't uh, go to the dock because you need to change some of this so you need to click on it uh, design to fabrication and then cho choose this one ductwork and it will change to a ductwork from here from the ME MEP fabrication part and then once you do that it will look like this let's see if we have this flex so for for me i'm just gonna i'm not gonna leave the flex anymore like that i'll just basically change the rectangular part let's see if um once we change this we'll be able to change the dimension which we can't anymore maybe we could change this 150 and there at least it's much better so we need to change each and every one of the rectangular part only so i'm gonna select everything like so and it will convert it to an MEP fabricated so now we just need to be patient and then after that click on design to fabrication and choose the ductwork that you want that you loaded and then now we just need to keep on selecting this and change the primary end to 150 by 150 so select those this is all the same 150 as well And this one is already done. Okay. And then now, after we finish this, And then this one as well. Cannot be fit, support route cannot be found. So let's leave that and don't worry about that because we could change now and go to the part. And what we need to add is the strap hanger and if you do this you can see that it goes all the way to the top so it provide a realistic look and it goes above the 
the dock and all through the roof and then you can actually push this one all the way to the top if you want to but as you can see it's much easier you don't need to create this anymore because of what we have done um, you just need to put the strut hanger on places and it will adhere to the size of those so most of the time you put it on those transitions and this one you've already changed it and then we could add it so for this one I, I'm not gonna put more time on it anymore and I, I just want to finish it I'm gonna put it here and then move this one on the side like that So it's just a fast way of uh, adding more details to your drawing, especially in architecture. I know the spacing is rough, but at least we have this detail there. And once we put it in twin motion, it will look nicer. So thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.